So, I don't know if you've noticed, there's a pandemic called coronavirus? Could've fooled me. Um, yeah. Moths are pretty simple to make, I'm going to be showing you how to make them and we're going to be throwing an LPS twist on it and it's going to be really really cool. So if you want to have a fun, funky LPS mask, spoilers, keep on watching this video. So when I go out I usually wear these disposable masks that I picked up when I was in Japan last year. They're pretty great, they fit my face pretty well. Um, I noticed that the ones they sell in the UK are just kind of big, so I'm glad I had these left over. They kind of fan out and fit your face nicely and they have like a wire in the top so no germs are getting in. But for these LPS themed ones it's not going to work. So we're going to be making our own fabric ones following a pattern. This is just one I found online, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. I'm cutting out the medium size one. It's, it fits pretty snug. I think the length of it was kind of big, there was a lot of material on the sides. But it fits the shape of the face really well for me. So I'd recommend that if you're, you're kind of a, kind of my, my size, my sized face. <laughs> Once I've cut the pattern out, I'm taking some cotton fabric. Um, this is actually leftover, a leftover sleeve from a cosplay. Never worn this sleeve before, it's brand new fabric, I didn't want it to go to waste. It's 100% cotton, really breathable, really great. If you're making masks, I'd recommend using cotton, easy to breathe through. Um, but honestly, you can use like linen, bed sheets, anything that you can you really have around the house. You don't need to go out of your way and buy fabric for masks. There's a lot of things that are accessible that you just don't really think of. So one of them being a, a sleeve from a cosplay. <laughs> so putting the fabric right sides together, I cut around it following the, the pattern line. The seam allowance is already in the pattern. So cut out pattern piece one and pattern piece two. Once all your pieces are cut out, move the scraps out of the way, you don't need those anymore. Grab your pins and then pin the fabric right sides together down the front seam which would kind of hit between your nose and around your mouth. Once that's all pinned, I'm taking it over to my sewing machine. Of course you can hand sew this, this product but I'm pretty familiar with how to use a sewing machine and I'm going to be using that. Putting it on a pretty slow stitch so I can see where I'm going and I don't run over any pins. That can be pretty dangerous if you're new to sewing. So being really careful, I'm slowly going around the edge, leaving about a centimetre seam allowance, and then pulling out the pins as I go. And then I did the same to the lining. After that, put the two pieces, the front and the lining, right sides together, so the nice side of the seam is touching the other nice side of the seam. And you should be seeing the two raw edges. And then take some pins and pin it so it's kind of flat but on the way it would be around your mouth once we put it right sides out if that makes sense i hope that makes sense um and i'm freehanding sewing along the two edges of the bottom and the top of the mask um but leaving a gap at the sides where we're going to be attaching the straps you can use pins for this but i just felt comfortable freehanding it it's just a straight stitch of one centimeter very similar to what we did on the first rounded bit once those two seams are in i'm turning it inside out from the gaps at the side of the mask and then trying to flatten it as much as possible i was too lazy to press it so if you can be bothered to press it this will be your chance to press it but I'm just pinning it flat and then adding a straight stitch on the top and bottom so it's just nice and flat. It doesn't look like you're wearing a nappy on your face. I mean, maybe it might. I don't know. Haven't got that far in the tutorial yet. So just straight stitching along on the machine, nice and slowly, similar to before, just being careful of the pins. It just makes it look a little bit more professional. You can also straight stitch the front seam we did first if you wanted to, but I was just a bit lazy. Once we've done that, we're gonna work on the straps. You can use elastic if you want it to be adjustable to your ears, but I didn't have any spare elastic in the right width, so I decided to make my own little handles, <laughs> what are they called, like ear straps. I'm um, just out of some of the scrap same cotton fabric, I rolled it up and then sewed it along. So it's just a thin strap. You could use ribbon if you want, or a cord, or an old shoelace, or elastic preferably. Um, yeah, 
anything, anything that's gonna wrap around your ears and be comfortable. Once you've done that, pin it in place on the mask itself. I pin one side of the tube, put the mask over my face, wrap it around my ears and then kind of held it where it felt comfortable. Um, not too loose, not too tight, and then pinned it on the other side. Then I folded the extra fabric inwards, so it's in half and then in half again, so there's not going to be any um, fraying of the fabric. Run that through the machine, do the same thing on the other side, and you're good to go. Your mask is done. Unless you're going to LPSify it. Dun dun dun! Whoa, the plot twist. So for this you're going to need some heat transfer paper. Put that in your printer the right way around, it depends on your printer. For me it was right side up but it might be different for everyone else's printer. Then find whatever pictures or things you want to print onto your mask and put it into a document. I just used a word document. I was considering um, having the mask of an LPS's mouth um, but there were a couple of issues with that. The first one being that um, when you print out and iron on this material it goes into like a plasticky feeling which would be really hard to breathe out of as a mask you don't want to suffocate uh uh it's not sound fun number two when I stretch this out on the document it just looked really pixelated it's a tiny toy you take a picture and you blow it up to a4 it's gonna be pixelated that's not gonna look good on a mask is it uh uh so we didn't do that, I um, actually made two masks in case we mess up one of the masks, we have a backup, but if we mess up both the masks, we've got two messed up masks. Also all of these designs when you print them onto the fabric they're gonna be flipped, so if you have any text, I tested it out here, I printed some text out the right way around and then reversed it, you have to reverse your text if you don't want your images to come out the other way, like facing the other way, reverse those two. I tested out some of the text on some scrap fabric and uh, this is how it went. It didn't work. <laughs> and at this point, I had a, a mini, a mini meltdown. <laughs> Why is this paper not working? Oh no, I can already tell it hasn't worked. Are you ready for the zoom in? Oh, are you ready? Are you steady? Whoa. I mean it tried its best. <laughs> it's so bad, it's like someone's taking like a Crayola crayon. Um, uh, note to self, don't buy cheap transfer paper online. Well since we know it's rubbish, I'm just gonna use the rest of this sheet up. See if I'm doing anything wrong. There's like a, a gooey side, right? Maybe I just rubbed off everything I needed, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try and wet just the back side, but that might do nothing either. Next up we have Kiara. We're gonna try and do it so it's just the, the back side that's wet, maybe? Sorry Kiara. Experiment three. I wanted to make these masks today, but now I've just got this! Oh, She's done less, but at least it's stuck. Maybe I'll just keep steaming her. <laughs> Hopefully the water goes through. I probably spent more on materials for this video than I... I will be getting back an ad revenue. <laughs> oh, look at that! Did less than Ashley. And let's try Kiara! I mean, that was a great Friday activity. Thanks for joining. Um, last video cancelled. Can't remember how this one works, but uh, <laughs> we'll figure that one out. Sorry if the lighting is really bad now. It's currently uh, almost 1 a.m. I had a big rummage through my. Uh, arts and crafty bin and I actually had some leftover paper from a really old cosplay of Pinkie Pie years ago where I made like little balloons and ironed them onto like my shoes and stuff to be like Pinkie and I had some leftover so hopefully it still works 
This paper is at least five years old. If it doesn't work, we're gonna call this video a fail and that's fine too. <laughs> we tried. Yeah, for some reason the text has all come out blurry. I don't know, I don't know if this one's gonna be reversed. Oh no, I should have reversed this. For my cosplay, if you want to check out my cosplay TikTok account and Patreon, link the down below. I don't know how many pages of this I have left, so I tried to squeeze it all onto one plate, quite onto one page. Um, so I guess uh, I'll just I'll cut Marinette's thing and put it to the side. We don't need this. I'm gonna use one of the blurry ones. Please work. This is all I have left. If it's not the paper, then it's the fabric. But we're using 100% cotton, so surely it should stick. Just wait for it to cool a little bit. Cool down. <gasps> now this is what I'm talking about. Oh, oh damn. Okay, a little bit of the paper got stuck along the way, but man, I fixed it. Hey, now that's what I'm talking about. I, I would write in the comments which paper this is and recommend it, but it's five years old and I don't know where I got it. So what I'm going to do now is cut really close to the edges on all of these lads. of the LPS popular characters but not the names of the Mermaid Memories characters and then I didn't print out the character you know what I mean? because I was thinking of make the Team Sage and South one reversible maybe? unless they would both fit on so I could do South down here, Team South and then Team Brooke over here and then for this one we'll do the Mermaid Memories crew everywhere they'd be chilling um, so, I've got to kind of get a layout for the Mermaid Memories one that I like. Uh, we can have Sage on the side. We'll have like the more major characters up the top, maybe. Mm, I like Kiara. I want to have Kiara and Opal together because, I'm gonna say it here, it's a canon ship. <laughs> so I, maybe we'll have Opal and Kiara here. That. Maybe? Like that. Like that. That? Is that a good one? Is that a mermaid memory? Oh, I, I printed out a zoom zoom. I could have like zoom zoom mermaid memories. Cause then it's iconic. It's on brand. How's a thread quality control? <laughs> Whoever made those is getting fired. I hope that's a good placement. <laughs> Bam. Please look. Please look. Like, day. No? I'll add the team brook above, I think. Because you won't be able to read it below. You didn't even see. I mean, I'm gonna shove an iron on top, but. I don't know how long you're actually meant to hold these on for. That should be fine. I'll leave her to the side to cool down a bit. We pray. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sage, you doing it? His name's not Sage in Mermaid Memories. What am I on? What is his name? I forget. I forget. Noah. I never really liked Noah's character. He was very bland. I mean, <laughs> I kind of wanted him to be like the rich kid that doesn't really like to brag about being rich. You know, he's just, he's vibing. But I just, I don't know. He came out a bit too, a bit too normy. Maybe I should have given him like a, a hobby. No, it's okay. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe like that. Ah! <laughs> cool. Bish bash bosh. We doing it, boys. We are gonna have Opal at the top. She is queen bee in it. Hopefully, that's even. Do we put down Zoom Zoom and Memory Memories? Maybe. Maybe we should see how the text turned out on these ones first and then see if I like it. Team Brookside first. I really hope these turned out good. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh my gosh, we need to zoom in, we need proper... Oh my gosh, this worked out so good. Oh my god! Imagine if I had to make my own merch like this. Then we're gonna see what the team broke turned out like. <gasps> iconic, absolutely iconic. Savannah side. Okay, I'm mostly worried about the little legs peeling out. Oh my gosh, she's got like the perfect Savannah red. Um, if I was like, oof. Looking for a paint colour, I would be like, I would like Savannah Red please, and they'll be like, who? And I'd pull out my mask and be like, this. Then, Team, team Sam! Oh yes! I'm too zoomed in. Ah, zoom zoom! Get it? Get it? That's what she says in the thing. Wow. This is better than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I might actually wear this out. Once, as a treat. That's next week's video. Alice wears DIY merch out in public? Anyway, I think it's a it's a go for the text, so let's cut around these really carefully and pop them on the Mermaid Memories mask. I can't believe A, I made a functional mask, and B, it's turning into merch, and C, this video has not flopped yet, apart from that printer paper, but that wasn't my fault, that was the paper. I think we're good. As the kids say, I think we're good, she. I'm gonna peel from Ashley, I guess. Okay, come on Ashley, let's revive you. Oh my goodness. Whoa! These peel so good, look. Not even an ounce of residue. Do you remember what the other ones look like? Well, here's a, here's a Gabby. After it had been printed on, that is. Mm mm. And then we're gonna get Gabby. Oh no, she's peeling up at the side. Maybe I did apply too much heat. I'm gonna proceed to apply some more. Um, I guess we'll just try from this side. Um, I oh know this one's Gabby, I think. Or is this Noah? Oh, this is Noah! Oh, Kiara. What a stunner! Hey! Then we have Opal. Oh no! Oh no, her, her feet aren't down. Quick! Quick! CPR! Hey! I'm gonna peel off this word next, just in case she's not ready. But, are you guys ready? Here we go. Mermaid memories were a little bit blurry, but on brand. Cool, Noah's ear! He survived. With tails a little bit up. Hmm, maybe I can use a little bit of cardboard and some heat just to like press it down. I don't know if it's gonna go through that. Maybe this bit of failed paper. <laughs> Yeah, if you're gonna buy um, this paper, make sure you don't get one. Ooh. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, don't do that. No. Oh no. No. Will it stick straight to the iron? It does! Ah, no! Oh, whoa, she came out great. <laughs> and then finale, we have Zoom Zoom. Not very legible, but you guys will know. Ah, oh, that was such a good mask until that. Let's try these bad boys on and have a fashion show. Whoa! They're done! Even though we had a little bit of a cat. Catastrophe. <laughs> so first we have our LPS popular themed mask. We have Team Brooke, Team Sav. You can be both teams. The light. I don't know if it's gonna flip the uh, text on my camera, but we'll, we'll see that in the end. 
Oh, I've got earrings in. This was a bad idea. Why did I put tangly earrings in? I've got a situation. Cool. Whoa, isn't she fancy? I think next time I would print them a little bit higher up. I also think that Savvy's a little bit lower than Brooke. But apart from that, I might actually wear this in public. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Maybe it'll entice people to start wearing their masks if they see such a cool person wearing one, you know? That is the Elpius popular themed one. Uh, so for GTV, get on my level. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> and then we have the Mermaid Memories. Um, unfortunately, we did have a disaster with Sage. Here he is in, in the daylight. Whoa, he's missing a tail and a leg and the middle of his face and his ear. But sometimes it'd be like that. Um, also, I noticed that um, Opal's foot is peeling up a little bit. So I do need to perfect my ironing skill, but it still looks pretty rad. Also, he's not called Sage, he's called Noah. Why do I keep messing that up? Um, here we go. Whoa, Mermaid Memories in 2020? Who would have thought? So cool, so fresh. Whoa, whoa, is that Hannah? Is that Melted Noah? Whoa. Um, I think this one's a little bit big on the top. I might, um, fix it. Yeah, we got our zoom zoom. It looks pretty cool. I quite like this. <laughs> And before I get comments of like, sell out Mermaid Memories Mask on Etsy. <laughs> Very tempting, but I, I don't think I'm good enough at sewing to sell them, let alone good enough at ironing. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, kids. So yeah, these are my masks. Let me know what you think of them in the comments down below. Did you prefer this one or this one? I, I don't know which one I like. I quite like the repeated pattern of this one, but I kind of wish I actually ironed it so it's three and then one, two, three. So it's kind of even, but I did want it to look repeated, so I don't know how I feel about that, but I do like the Team 17 book. I just wish they were printed a little bit higher as well. They're cool. I don't know if I'd wear them in public. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you're wondering, oh, how did Alice learn how to sew? Well, actually, I am a cosplay. <laughs> I've been cosplaying since I was a wee lass, and I've picked up sewing as, as I go. Um, so if you're interested in seeing my cosplay stuff, follow me on TikTok, Alice Nyan Nyan. And if you would like to see behind the scenes content of this YouTube channel and my cosplay content, follow me on Patreon for a monthly subscription kind of thing. Thank you to Kaylee and Cecilia for following my Patreon last week. I really appreciate it. I've been sharing all of the behind the scenes of how I made the masks and previews for videos and other cosplay things. So if you want to follow me on Patreon and see all the secret info, go ahead and follow me on that. <laughs> also going to be doing like monthly Patreon live streams. And for this month, I'm actually going to be including tier one into that. Usually it's the $5 tier and up, but I'll be including tier one into the monthly live stream. So that's a little treat if you sign up this month. All of the perks for Patreon are on last week's video if you want to check that out and also written on the Patreon page as well. Links below. Go check out my TikTok and my Patreon. It means a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon in next week's video. Bye!